I wonder at what point someone looked at this and said, I think you fried it enough. Hello and welcome to another edition of Korean Eats. My name is Dan and I'm here on Jeju-do, which means Jeju Island. It's a beautiful island and as you can see there is a lovely city behind me. This is known as Sogwipo and is the main sort of tourist city of the island according to most of the internet. Although there is also Jeju city to the north. There are three main waterfalls here in Jeju and I've visited a couple of them so far. So I've worked up an appetite for something greasy and very deep fried and kind of meaty. So I bought this strange looking food on a stick from a lady near Chonjon Pokpo, which is Chonjon waterfall. And she told me that it's called Mandigi, but she described it as being a mixture of potato and sausage. Uh, and it looks like it's very deep fried. So here it is. This is Mandigi. Actually, it's not. Mandigi isn't a thing. I looked it up after recording this video and nothing came up. However, the search term Korean potato hot dog did, and I found many results. One of them described what I'm eating as Gamja hot dog. Gamja means potato, and hot dog means, as you can probably guess, hot dog. There are actually a few types of Korean hot dog. There's the plain dog on a stick, the battered kind, similar to the type you get in fish and chip shops, and the potato -y kind you get if you feel like giving yourself a heart attack. So, what is Mandigi? Well, my best guess is that she thought I was asking her about a different dish that she was serving. Bondegi. And that I just misheard her. This is Bondegi. Silkworm larvae. To be honest, I'm a little bit apprehensive about eating this, but in the interest of cultural exploration and adventure, I'm going to give it a go. Leave a comment or like the video though if you think that I should too, because I could certainly do with some encouragement. Anyway, back to the video. As you can see, it appears to be covered in little potato chunks, and obviously there's a bit of ketchup on top of it too. But inside, I believe there is a sausage, but I'm not entirely sure. It looks to me that there's more to this than meets the eye. So I guess I'm going to find out by uh, biting into it. Here goes. I can confirm that it is in fact just sausage and potato with a very thick batter. It, it's kind of like something you'd get in a fish and chip shop back in the UK. Have a look at the inside of it. This is a kind of the, uh, the inside here. You can see the, the sausage in the middle and the, uh, the bits of <laughs> batter around the side. Pretty delicious looking, right? I'm going to take another bite and see what it's like with a bit of ketchup on it now. Butter. It's very chewy. The sausage is very tender. The ketchup is a bit spicy. And the potato. The potato is good. On its own, the potato is mm, nice. It's you know when you get fried potato and it's like perfectly fried. It's a bit crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. That's what this potato is like. And it it surrounds the outside of the batter, kind of like some kind of weird corn on the cob effect, but with potato and batter. I wonder at what point someone looked at this and said, I think you fried it enough. Because it looks like it's got many, many layers of friedness going on there. At least a few times, and the batter is extremely thick. They really, really coat on heavy. How did they keep the structure and integrity of this thing while they were the frying is. Unfortunately, my friend at the food store forgot to provide me with a napkin. Either that, or maybe I just don't know the word in Korean for napkin. I guess we'll never know. I'm only halfway through this and I already feel like I've eaten an entire meal. This is incredibly filling. Mmm. After some careful consideration, I've decided that this is triple battered. Triple fried. They fried it once with the sausage on it. They fried it again after it dried. They 
put the potatoes on top and then they fried that again somehow. I don't know how they glued the potatoes to it, but they did it. Not much more of this mandiggy to go. Only about a third of it. Next time you get a hot dog and you're thinking, oh man, I feel awful for having this hot dog. What a guilty pleasure food. Think of this mandiggy. It is like a triple hot dog. It is really tasty though. Good job, Jeju. I have seen this at various food stores around Korea though, in other places like Seoul and Busan. So I'm pretty sure it's not just something that's uh, limited to Jeju Island. The street food stalls, in case you're interested, are known as Pojang Matcha. Pojang means wrapping, and it's usually the word you use to describe takeaway food. And matcha means cart, so it's kind of like a takeaway cart. It's one of those clever compound words. The flight path from Seoul to Jeju is the most frequented flight path in the world. There are dozens of planes that go to and from Jeju and Seoul every single day. In fact, it's about every, every 15 minutes the plane will go there. Incredible. It's a very, very popular tourist destination. I genuinely am almost finished now. Only a little bit left. <clears throat> I'm gonna miss this potato. It's really nice. All done! The hot dog stick is clean. In case you're interested in buying some of your own mandiggy when you're in Korea, it only cost me Yichon won, which is 2,000 won, roughly a pound, maybe pounds, five pence, something like that. And it is genuinely extremely filling. It's a really great way to get some food on the cheap when you're out and about and just want to eat something quickly. There you have it, the first street food here in on Korean Eats. Quite filling. Don't eat it before a massive walk. As always, thanks for watching Korean Eats. I'm going to go and enjoy Jeju Do. See you later.